Good evening. This is Akashwani. I am Valsa Williams with the news at 9. The headlines Rajya Sabha holds discussion on Operation Sindoor Home Minister Amit Shah assures that Jammu and Kashmir will be free of terrorism under the Narendra Modi government Lok Sabha approves statutory resolution regarding extension of president's rule in Manipur for a further period of 6 months ISRO NASA collaborative satellite NISAR successfully launched from Satish Dhawan Space Center Sriharikota New Delhi takes note of US President Donald Trump's announcement to impose 25% tariffs on India. Government says it will take all steps necessary to secure national interest. And IMD forecasts very heavy rainfall over Himachal Pradesh for today and over East Rajasthan for today and tomorrow. Union Home Minister Amit Shah today asserted that Jammu and Kashmir will be free of terrorism under the Narendra Modi government replying to the discussion in the Rajya Sabha on India's strong successful and decisive operation Sindoor in response to the terrorist attack in Pahalgam the home minister said strong action will be taken against terrorists and terror infrastructure will be raised to the ground ऐसा जघन्य अपराध कभी नहीं हुआ धर्म के नाम पर पूछ कर चुन चुन कर इनके परिजनों के सामने मले छोटी बच्चिया छोटे बच्चे वृद्ध मां उनकी पत्नियां उनकी बहने इस सब के सामने मारा गया और क्यों मारा गया क्योंकि वो संदेश देना चाहते थे कि टेररिज्म से मुक्त हम कश्मीर को नहीं होने मैं आज इस सदन से उनको संदेश देना चाहता हूं कश्मीर आतंकवाद से मुक्त होकर रहेगा ये नरेंद्र मोदी का संकल्प Mr Shah lauded the role of armed forces and security agencies for the successful operation Mahadev in which three terrorists involved in the Pahalgam terror attack were neutralized. Main sabse pehle operation Mahadev ke liye batana chahunga parso hi bahut lambe samay se chal rahe hue ek operation ka ant aaya aur wo operation ke tahat teen aatankwadi Suleiman urf Faisal Jat Afghan aur Gibran हमारी सुरक्षा बलों ने इनको मौत के घाट उतार मनोहर सुलेमान ए श्रेणी का लश्कर ए तैयबा का कमांडर था पहलगांव हमले में उसकी ही राइफल से गोलियां चली थी और उसको हमारे सुरक्षा बलों ने कश्मीर छोड़कर पाकिस्तान भागने नहीं दिया अफगान भी ए ग्रेड का लश्कर ए तैयबा का कमांडर था और जिब्रान भी उच्च आला दर्जे का लश्कर ए तैयबा का आतंकवादी था The home minister said Pakistan's striking capabilities were destroyed during operations in Dur and it was brought to its knees. He said the Pakistani side approached India and pleaded with the Indian side to stop the operation. Ye puch rahe hain kiske kehne par samadhan hua? Kisi ke kehne par samadhan nahi hua. Pakistan ghutno ke bal hamare DGMO ko phone kiya ki bhai band karo. Pehle se hamara maqsad yuddh ka nahi tha. न पाकिस्तान के अवाम को हम नुकसान करना चाहते थे मोदी जी ने तुरंत कहा कि अगर पाकिस्तान रोकता है तो रोक लीजिए मिस्टर शाह अक्यूज द कांग्रेस फॉर टेकिंग अ लीनियंट अप्रोच टुवर्ड्स टेररिज्म फॉर इट्स वोट बैंक एंड अपीजमेंट पॉलिटिक्स मिस्टर शाह क्रिटिसाइज फॉर्मर होम मिनिस्टर पी चिदम्बरम फॉर सीकिंग प्रूफ दैट द टेररिस्ट वर फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान ही अक्यूज दैट मिस्टर चिदम्बरम्स स्टेटमेंट रिफ्लेक्ट द माइंड सेट ऑफ द कांग्रेस पार्टी विच शील्स टेरर आउटफिट्स During the Home Minister's reply the opposition staged a walk ta- walkout demanding the Prime Minister's reply on Operation Sindoor earlier participating in the discussion external affairs minister Dr S Jayashankar refuted mediation claims to stop Operation Sindoor saying that no phone call was made between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and US President Donald Trump from the 22nd of April to the 16th of June this year he said no world leader asked India to stop its operation He lauded the performance and capabilities of the armed forces which made the country proud. I laud the performance of our armed forces and the results that have done this country so proud. 
The Pahalgam attack happened on April 22nd. Across the world, there was solidarity. But the question was, what after? And the answers were two. One, such an attack was absolutely unacceptable. It crossed our red lines. There had to be severe consequences. And two, there had to be accountability and justice. Later, the upper house was adjourned for the day. The Lok Sabha has given its approval to the statutory resolution regarding the extension of President's rule in Manipur for a further period of six months with effect from the 13th of August 2025. Minister of State for Home Affairs Nityananda Rai moved the resolution seeking approval of the House for the extension of President's rule, which was imposed in Manipur on the 13th of February 2025. Replying to a discussion on the resolution, the minister said it is imperative to extend the president's rule to maintain peace and normalcy in the state. He said only one incident of violence took place in, win- in which one person lost his life since the imposition of president's rule. He added that not a single person lost their life in the last four months in the state. After completing the business, the lower house was adjourned for the day. The government today announced that the advanced version of the indigenously developed train safety system Kavach 4.0 is ready for commissioning on the Kota Mathura section. Speaking in the Lok Sabha today, Railways Minister Ashwini Vaishnav termed it a significant step towards the modernization of railway safety systems in the country. India and the U.S. today marked their maiden space collaboration with the successful flight of a GSLV rocket that placed an Earth observation satellite, Nisar, in a precise orbit. Nisar was jointly developed by ISRO and NASA. According to ISRO, the GSLV has successfully injected Nisar in designated orbit. ISRO's GSLV F-16 injected the synthetic aperture radar satellite into the intended sun-synchronous polar orbit after a flight of about 19 minutes and around 745 kilometers. A report. The successful launch of the satellite will mark a significant milestone in the history of Earth's observation missions due to its dual radar capability, the L-band and S-band systems, which will provide precise data about the cryosphere ecosystem and solid Earth GSLV F-16 vehicle has successfully and precisely injected. Let me congratulate all the teams from ISRO and NASA JPL on this outstanding success. This is the first GSLV mission to the sun synchronous polar orbit. NSR is an all-weather day-night imaging satellite that will scan the entire Earth at 12-day interval. NSR will enable the scientific community to detect the surface variations, sea ice detection, investigate natural hazards, monitor soil moisture and many other applications. And the global scientific community is eagerly awaiting the satellite data for their respective research and usage. The primary objectives of the mission are to study land and ice deformation, land ecosystems and oceanic regions in areas of common interest to the scientific communities. Henry Akashwani News, Vijayawada. Union Minister of State for Science and Technology Dr. Jitendra Singh has congratulated everyone upon the successful launch of GSLV F-16 carrying the world's first dual-band radar satellite, NISAR. He termed the satellite launch a game-changer. That's one of the biggest collaborations at the international level that Intro has engaged with. With one of the most premier agencies, we are partnering this new game-changing experiment. Secondly, this is not only going to be confined to the disasters, etc., as be the cyclones or the floods or the climate concerns. It would also, to a very great extent, produce a striking change of scenario in our aviation practices, in our shipping practices. This is Akashwani giving you the news. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our X handle at AIR News Alerts. And for details of these stories and more, log on to our website www.newsonair.gov.in and download News on AIR app. Welcome back. You're with us on the News at 9. India has taken note of a statement by the United States President Donald Trump on bilateral trade after he announced 25% tariffs on India starting on the 1st of August. In a statement today, the Ministry of Commerce and Industry said the government is studying its implications. It added that the government will take all steps necessary to secure national interest, as has been the case 
with other trade agreements, including the latest Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement with the United Kingdom. The ministry said India and the United States have been engaged in negotiations on concluding a fair, balanced and mutually beneficial bilateral trade agreement over the last few months. It added that the government attached the utmost importance to protecting and promoting the welfare of farmers, entrepreneurs and micro, small and medium enterprises. President Draupadi Murmu attended the inaugural convocation ceremony of the All India Institute of Medical Sciences Ames Kalyani, held in Nadia District, West Bengal today. Our correspondent has the details. President Draupadi Murmu, who was present as the chief guest, conferred degrees upon 48 MBBS graduates and nine postdoctoral certificate course scholars. President Draupadi Murmu said the students, those who have been graduated from this institute, must look after the health care for the poor and downtrodden. She said that there may be genetic manifestation of health care, but the doctor must give lifestyle related guidance to the patients. <laughs> टिक मैनिफेस्टेशन की बात अलग है लेकिन समुचित आहार बिहार और जीवन शैली के बल पर अधिकांश स्वास्थ्य समस्याओं को प्रिवेंट किया जा सकता है या उनकी काफी हद तक समाधान भी किया जा सकता है आपके पास जो लोग चिकित्सा के लिए आते हैं उन्हें आप सब दवा के अलावा जीवन शैली से जुड़ी परामर्श भी दें विद संदीपन दासगुप्त दिस इज कल्याण लाहा फ्रॉम एम्स कल्याणी the 20th installment of the Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi PM Kisan scheme will be released on the 2nd of August. In this regard, a high-level meeting was held in New Delhi today under the chairmanship of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Minister Shivrat Singh Chauhan. The meeting reviewed the preparations for the event and to ensure that the benefit reaches the maximum number of farmers. The event will be led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh. The Inter-Meteorological Department, IMD, has forecast a very heavy rainfall over Himachal Pradesh for today and over East Rajasthan for today and tomorrow. IMD said heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely over isolated places over Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, Odisha, Uttarakhand, West Bengal, Sikkim and the northeastern states tomorrow. Continuous rains in Madhya Pradesh have created flood-like conditions in Guna, Shivpuri, Shivpur, and Dathya districts. Chief Minister Dr. Mohan Yadav held a review meeting on flood and public safety management in Bhopal today. After the meeting, Chief Minister Dr. Yadav said that relief and rescue operations are going on in the affected districts and army helicopter have been sought from the Defence Ministry. We have been the whole control room of the whole Pradesh rescue center. Morena, Damo, Raisen, Guna, Soknagar, Sipuri, Sagar, Vidisa, Adi has been reached a lot of people who have been reached to the surface. The helicopter is for two people. Guna district received more than 30 inches of rain in a day, after which the Sindh River has flooded. District collector Kishore Kumar Kanya said that the army is also engaged in relief work. Meanwhile, the Med Department has issued a red alert for extremely heavy rain in Guna and Shopur district till tomorrow morning. Prashant Sharma, Akashwani News, Bhopal. Now to sports in badminton, Indian shuttlers Lakshya Sen, Ayush Shetty and Tarun Manipali have progressed to the second round of the Macau Open. Lakshya defeated Korea's Dion Hyok, Jin 21A, 21-14, while Ayush defeated Chinese Taipei's Huang Yukai, 21-10, 21-11 today. Tarun secured a win against fellow Indian Manraj Singh, 21-19, 21-13, in mixed doubles. Dhruv Kapila and Tanisha Krasto defeated Thailand's Rajapal Makasasi Thorn and Natamon Lai Suan. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Rajya Sabha holds discussion on operations in Dur. Home Minister Amit Shah assures that Jammu and Kashmir will be free of terrorism under the Narendra Modi government. Lok Sabha approves statutory resolution regarding extension of President's rule in Manipur for a further period of six months. Israel NASA collaborative satellite Nisar successfully launched from Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sriharikota. New Delhi takes note of U.S. President Donald Trump's announcement to impose 25% tariffs on India 
Government says it will take all steps necessary to secure national interest. And IMD forecasts very heavy rainfall over Himachal Pradesh for today and over East Rajasthan for today and tomorrow. That is all in the news at 9. Good night.